I found the perfect emulator for Game Boy to play unlicensed games. Let's take a look at that. This thing is called Handheld Underground Boy or Hug Boy. Um, there's, I can't, I can't tell if it's one guy or if it's a team, but they've done a lot of work on this thing. And they go to explaining why they did it here is that a lot of games, as far as legit ones, uh, licensed by Nintendo or Nintendo made themselves, have uh, the headers and footers, I believe, that they read to the Game Boy that say, hey, this is, this is a Game Boy game in a specific way, and you're good to go with the rest of it. And what doesn't work on a lot of emulators is the ones that do not have the proper mappers, basically the unlicensed ones. And here's a list of some of them right here. Now the unlicensed ones, they actually work perfectly on the Game Boys themselves, but on the emulators, the way that the emulators are written, they don't know how to deal with, as I believe, the headers and the footers that aren't properly what Nintendo specified them to be. Now that's my way of understanding it. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and type this link in right here. And this, this gives uh, some good history on it. And also, there's a readme if you download Hug Me, or well, uh, Handheld Underground Boy or Hug Boy. It tells how to use it and a little bit of the history. Um, so we'll get right into it. And they've, they release all these ROMs themselves. They get them from all across the world. They are mostly China, I think. And they've got their own website, which is hhug.me. So Hug Me or Handheld Underground, which Hug Me, I think that's pretty, that's pretty great. Um... So we've got the emulator, and we'll go ahead and load one of the ROMs up, and I've got them right here. Uh, a lot of them, they're, they're kind of funky, Crash to Advanced. And a lot of these things are made by a company called Syntax. I'll go ahead and place it in the center there. This one actually looks decent, and sometimes they are built upon... Um, other ROMs or ROM hacks, hence they're in license. So we'll jump into this one. Uh, enter is start, I do believe. And backspace is the select key, and then you have Z and X. This one seems to be kind of freaking out. There we go. New game. Now this game is pretty funky. I don't know why. I keep trying to move the mouse as if I'm going to be able to control it with, with my cursor. Alright, we got jump and we spin. There we go. Now this, look, this game looks very, very unlicensed, of course. Spin. Um, ah. yeah, this looks like a very, very funky game. But if you try to run this in another, oh, I died. If you try to run this in, in another, uh, if you try to run this this ROM in another emulator, it simply won't work. Uh, a GBX is the file format that uh, that this team is using and ha Handheld Underground is using uh, because it dumps 100% of the actual cartridge itself. And I believe without the header or footer that Nintendo specified, because like I said, a lot of these these unlicensed games didn't have the proper header and footer, so. They call it GBX, which is pretty cool that they're taking it upon themselves to do this. I really appreciate that there's a team actually taking something out of the norm and putting so much time and work into it. I'm doing this video or project. I just find this fascinating that there's a team doing this type of work. So I think that's awesome. Uh, let's load one of them. Let's see, we got Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, GBX, and Zip and the rest. Uh, Street Fighter 4. Some of these are pretty corny. Now this one seems to be done pretty well. I 
I like the data copyright on that. Even though it's very unlicensed. I do like the artwork though. If this could run on an actual Game Boy Color, that's, that's pretty impressive. So you're player two in this, apparently. And I'm playing this with my keyboard. Now, the controller I have wouldn't map to this emulator for some reason. So this is pretty much your basic basic fighter on Game Boy Color. Ah, just kill me. Alright, I'm down. Kill me, kill me. Yeah, now as you saw, that was uh, the GBX file. Uh, this is the one I chose right here, .gbx. So we have GBX right there. And if you were to go into their site and scroll down it was on the first or second page and they they update this uh, once in a great while um, you can download the raw dump or the GBX which is the one well, I guess the raw would be GBX the way I explained it so maybe it's not how I explained it uh, the raw is just the straight-up version that's what is on the cartridge itself and the GBX is the one which I thought was on the cartridge itself which would be raw but apparently they've done something to make it run um, on an emulator that'll run a licensed game, which is the emulator they made. So if you go, you, you can download all those from, from their site. And they these down here are not external links. They're all directly from their site, which is pretty cool. What I was looking at earlier, external device, barcode, unlicensed compatibility mode. This is awesome. If you ever find a dump from a ROM dump from anywhere else that was actually taken from a game that wasn't licensed, you can actually try it on here or just straight up disable it. But well, you're in the last Bible one. This is pretty cool. They took the time to. I'm very, very impressed. This is the most impressive uh, Game Boy emulator I've ever probably seen. They've got all these for download. And they explain actually what the, the game is obviously uh, the title card but what what the game how it came to be um to them who gave it to them a lot of times they give shout outs to whoever shipped it to them or their friends but if it's an overlay of some other game like there is a pokemon one i believe yeah here we go so it's here we go this is not that game the one that they uploaded earlier this is Special Pikachu Edition, a rehash of the Super Mario Brothers 3 with a Pikachu and a better color palette. So the descriptions are actually telling you actually what it is. And then down here they go into some more detail. And then this whole site, hhug.me, this is this is pretty cool. I like the site, and he goes on for on for a while. So I'll load ROM. And some of the color palettes are just jacked up. And this isn't their fault, these are the, the dumps. Frostman! This plays uh, actually pretty true to Mega Man. Which I was never really too good at. It was really fun, but I was not all that great at it. Oh, that's a checkpoint? I can stop moving. Oh no! Death. Let's try another. Sonic Adventure 8. Another color palette junked one. Let's let this play through. I guess there's not much going on here. Oh, did that one already? Oh no, I haven't actually. 
A more positive note. Here's some Pokemon. Pokemon Diamond. Start World One. Uh, oh, it slipped up. <laughs> that sucks. It actually did okay with. Oh, these man, these controls are sloppy. It actually did okay with the visuals on this. As far as the game itself, yeah, no. Pikachu can actually run, which is cool, but if you don't want him to, it's. Uh... Oh, this is horrible. This sucks. I can't imagine anybody wants to play that. And this ROM I found, I think it's a, it checks your Game Boy or something. It was on the same side. This is kind of bizarre. You have to press select to well, select it, which I guess makes sense. But I don't know what it does. It just gives input output errors. So, again, shout out to these guys. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to see more of my ramblings. And press thumbs down if I suck. Thank you, please.